In my last tutorial, I have shown you how to use the Facebook JavaScript SDK to get the login to working. Just to give you a re recap, this is my route.js where I have created the login.html file and I have a controller as home controller. This is where I am using the Facebook API functions to get the user object and the access token. As far as the functioning goes, let me refresh. If I click on the button, it gives me the Facebook login pop up. Now, of course, I was logged in, so I got my user object, which is this, and also I got my access to it. In this tutorial, what I will do is create a new route, say something like dashboard so let's copy this one let's say slash dashboard dot html it will have a dash board controller so that's fine but the only difference is this route will be authentication based which means if the user is not authenticated he should be redirected to the login page now how do i add that feature or how do i know which urls are authentication based what i will do is in my route i will add a new property as authenticated and I'll set it to true, which means any route with the property authenticated as true, I need to look for it and I will check the user authentication. All right, so as per our route, we need to create one controller and one view so that we can load that page. So, what I will do is quickly create those controller and HTML files. I'll go inside folder view I have a js file to create and file dashboard controller.js save I'll just take this term put it here I don't need any of this code and copy the name just so that I don't make any typos Okay, so that's about it for this file. Now I need to create my dashboard HTML. So new file, control S. Inside my views folder, home, and I'll say welcome to your dashboard. All right. Now that I've created those files, especially the JavaScript, so I need to load it inside my HTML. So what I have done is added this. The next part is where I create a route change start function. What I will do is in this function, Whenever a route is changing, I will first check whether the route has a property called authenticated, which I'll get from this property, and then I will check against a factory if the route is authentication based. Okay, so let's create the function where we will detect the route change and apply our authentication logic. F dot run I need root scope dollar location and I will also reference my authentication factory
and I need to pass the parameters so the root scope, the dollar location, and factory. All right. Now, if you see all my functions, I am guarding the parameters which I'm passing. The sole intention is that I know later on I'll be minifying each and every JavaScript file so that inside my index.html I don't need to reference so many JavaScript files. Instead, I will use one JavaScript file to have my entire app logic. That is the reason these guards are required so that my code doesn't break when I do the minification. I have the root scope event which I get by root scope dot dollar all dollar round change start. This is the event name and in the function I get the event the next route and the current route object. All right. Inside this for now, let's just console the objects which we are getting. So it's an event. Next. Correct. And there's a swap term. All right. Now, I need to create the auth factory. So quickly. I'll create a file inside my factories folder. Its name is auth fact. Okay. And let's write the basic stuff. So my app dot factory auth fact. I need the square bracket to guard it. All right. And because it is a factory, I need to return something. So what I will do is I will create this object, and for now let's just return it blank. So my index.html is already loading the JS file. I have the home controller, dashboard controller. Okay, things are looking all right. Let's just refresh and check. All right, there is some problem. I have this set so what is unknown provider or factory provider let's see if I have made any typos in the factory oh yes I have f is small whereas the reference is always capital. Let's now refresh. All right, sets work. So our next task is to write some code where we detect whether the route is authentication based or not. And then we will use our factory method to check the authentication and Based on that, we will decide whether the user should be able to view that route or he should be redirected to the login page. So our logic is basically if route is authenticated, then the user should have access to it. So how do we do it? Let's say inside our auth factory we have a method to get the access token as well as set the access token. So first auth fact and change everything so that there are no chances of mistake. Or dot set access token equals function I'll pass the access to them okay. and there is another function get access token which will simply return 
the access token which is auth fact dot all now i need to just write this part which is fact dot token equals access to the is already in parameter so far so good now inside my route i'll create a logic if next dot dollar dollar route dot authenticate so let's so you must be wondering how i know that whether i need to check this or not so let's first console the object so that I can show you again I will console the next and I will console the current as well do a refresh so my current is undefined and in my next as you can see this is the dashboard so before the change I had got this and the authentication was set to true. That's the reason I can write this if condition. Alright, so if next dollar dollar route authenticated that is true, then I'll say where user auth equals auth factory dot the function. Get access to them. And obviously, if I don't get any user auth, then dollar location dot path will be set to the login page. Now, part comes where I need to make some changes in my home controller so that once the user gets the access token I need to set it so that when I do a get I actually get it so I load up the home controller I need to first get the factories so of the factory and pass this into my scope Okay, this is where I have got the access token. So what I can do is this dot set access token. I think I spelled it right. Set access token. Yeah. Access token. All right, we are setting it here. Once the users have logged in, and then I will redirect him. To the location dashboard, which means I need to reference dollar location as well. Dollar location inside the scope of the function. All now. Access token redirecting auth slash dashboard. All right. So we have the logic ready. This is the place we are redirecting once the user has logged in. This is where we are setting the token. And our factories are also ready. So let's refresh the page and see what happens. All right. So I have been redirected to the login page, which was correct because the dashboard route was actually authentication based. If I do dashboard URL again, it redirects back. But now, if I do Facebook login.
Okay, so why didn't it redirect? I think there must be something in the auth factory. Oh yes, I have not made a return of the get access token method. That's the reason. I think it got redirected back. Uh, I should have turned it on. I would have. All right. So let's see. Now I click on this button. The user is logged in, fetching the information, and I am on the dashboard page. And if I go back and again come here, it will work because until and unless my website, the web page is refreshed, the factory has the access token. As soon as I have refreshed it, the variable will be gone, and so I'll be basically an unauthenticated user. Which means if I do a refresh, I'm redirected to the login page again, and then I need to log in once more to get back to the dashboard. But that's okay. For now, we have the authentication set on the routes, which means these URLs are authentication protected. In my next tutorial, I'll be using cookies to store the authentication token and later on check that value to decide whether the user is authenticated or not.